All right, folks, this video is going to be a little bit different because I am recording this like on the fly, no real editing to speak of, not that I can think of anyways, but um, I'm just recording this as I go. And the reason why I'm doing that and the reason why we're looking at Caden Live here is because over the past, I don't know, month or so, I've gotten a number of comments on my videos talking about screen tearing and... Um, yeah, I want to address that. So I think that in some cases there is screen tearing that comes from the actual game I'm playing. The screen, the screen tearing most certainly does not come from the actual recording itself because I'm re I record almost all of my footage, including this footage. Notice how simple screen recorder is not running here. I'm only recording my audio. Everything else is being recorded through uh, Elgato HD 60, and I'll link that in the description and probably in the video. It's a really super re a great recorder. Um, you can read about it somewhere else. It's, it's just like the best one out there. It's freaking awesome. But the problem is with Caden Live. It's either with Caden Live, FFMPG, or Melt, the framework that Caden Live uses. Uh, and I'm not going to go into, I did a little research. I'm not going to go into why it happens, but I'm just going to kind of show you what, what I have to deal with when I do a big edit on benchmarking videos. You also may notice that I haven't been doing a lot of benchmarking videos and you're about to find out why. And now it's not that I, it's not that I won't do them. It's just that I don't do them as much because they're a huge pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I've got this one called elementary OS, <clears throat> elementary OS versus Ubuntu rather. It's the last benchmark video I did. So I have one in here called War Thunder Redo. Don't worry about that. I that was <laughs> I had to make that one because of something that happened in the in the editing process. But let me give you an idea of a day in the life of Caden Live. Okay, so I'm going to open this up, right? Oh, it's not a valid project file. Do you want to open the backup? Sure, why not? Okay, so I've got all these different backups. Look, there's even thumbnails. Look at that thumbnail. So you can see. I've got fading here, some compositing here. I've got a bunch of stuff. There's, there's a lot going on here. I got all these tracks. Let's go ahead and pull it down. Oh, that's not valid either? So you're telling me that all that work is just gone. That's what you're telling me. Okay, well, let's, let's try to open up another one, okay? So let's do uh, Tomb Raider. That was another one that had a lot of screen tearing. Let's open that one up. Do I want to save the changes of this one that I opened? No, I don't want to save that. Oh, that one's invalid too. Okay, you know why it's invalid? It has something to do with the version of Melt that is being used. That's what I read anyways. Okay, so let me try to kind of recreate for you the, like, the hell that I had to deal with editing that video. Now, I talked about this earlier. I've got all this stuff going on here. Um, doo -doo -doo. So let's just go ahead and pull down War Thunder. Let's grab this guy. So notice how it, th this was recorded at 1080p at 60 frames a second because of my Elgato screen recorder. It's pretty freaking cool. Don't close that. We want that. And uh, we're gonna want some music. Let's put that in there. And I don't even know if we'll get to the audio. Maybe we will, but probably not. So let's go ahead and kind of recreate the screen tearing that you may have saw in the last video. So we're gonna do it with, uh, with War Thunder. So let me go ahead and paste this down here. And already we're having this weird issue. What the hell is this audio thumbnail trying to tell us? I have no idea. It just looks like a mess. So let's go ahead and find a clip with some action. That looks like a good one where he's dive bombing. Let's do that one. Let's find out where it starts. Cut that. And we'll end it there. Okay, so that is a 10, 20 second clip, something like that. So we want two of those. Okay. So now we want to create the effect where we have two of the same image kind of together. And we also need to layer it. So we need to create a transition. And we'll move that over. This is actually really hard to do on the fly. I have to remember the process I use when I create these videos. So we want to crop. We need both of these cropped. I guess we'll go ahead and crop this one first. So we're going to scale it in half. And that's going to put it in the corner, which is fine. 
So obviously in the benchmark, notice how in the folder I have Ubuntu and elementary, for this video I just pulled the same, I'm only using one file, elementary, I copied it. Obviously in the benchmark I used two different ones, as you can see there's a war thunder there. So we want to crop it. So we have the little crop there, so we'll go ahead and crop this one too. And then we're going to use uh, this tilt and move you down, not that way. What was the number? I have to go back now. 960. Let's go ahead and move you down. I'm not going to be precise with it. Let's just do 700. And that's roughly in the center. And we'll do 700 here, right? And then we want to move it to the other side of the screen. Okay. So this is my poor man's way of putting two pictures together. There's a lot of better ways of doing this, but this is the quickest and dirtiest way of doing it. So now when we play, when we play, there, okay, look at that. See that? Now that's just with two clips, two effects, and one compositing uh, transition. So there you go. But we're not done. I haven't even added the text. I haven't added the over overlay. So before before you look at that and say, good Lord, that's bad. And look, look, watch watch how long it takes for this to refresh. Watch this. Look how terrible that is. Okay. So now we, let's go ahead and add the text. Now remember, this was tricky because the actual clips are here in the center but I want the text to be up here. One is gonna be on top and then the other two are gonna be on the bottom. So there's a special way of doing this. It's called dynamic text. So I think it's like that. Uh, we wanna blow it up. Whoops, not that big, that's giant. 100 is probably too big. Okay, yeah, 100 is kind of big. So we'll just use 80. Since this is already on the top, we'll go ahead and do War Thunder. And that one's done. Dynamic, t uh, where are we? Are we on the bottom? That's still 80. I'm not gonna dick around with the size. I don't, I don't think it matters that much. I think it's just the number of effects that causes the problems. So this one is Ubuntu. And obviously I'm calling it Ubuntu because I'm trying to replicate what I did in the last video. And elementary. If you can't tell, I am in fact, this is elementary. So I've, I'm still using it. I liked it so much that I'm continuing to use it. Okay, so let's see what it is now. Is that better or worse? What do you think? Okay. We haven't even added the tag. You know what? Just for fun, we are going to put some audio in there. <laughs> I, th I think you guys have an idea of where this is going. You can probably imagine what the audio is going to sound like. So I goofed and I need to move this down a level because I need to put this guy here. Am I doing this right? Hold on. Yeah, I'm doing this right, okay. Now to dissolve, we want another... Ah, crap, no, I'm not doing this right. Because notice how it's only on one side. I'm trying to think of how I did this. Um, you know what, this is fine. Obviously, it doesn't need to be perfect. So there's this nice little fade where it kind of fades in and you use keyframes to do this. I realize I'm going over a lot of Caden Live specific stuff. And I know some people have made videos on this specifically. And I've gotten pretty good at making these, these kinds of videos. So I guess I could make a video on how to put together something like this. Oh, is that how I did it? Maybe? Oh, I probably really screwed the pooch. Because now I bet you it's going to move. Yeah. Now it is gonna move. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> you get the idea. It's 
it's fine. That's not going to hurt anything. I moved the um, the exact positioning, so it's it's pegged to keyframes. So notice zero zero is here, and then see now it's like different. Oh well, whatever. So we're gonna have this fancy little thing moving around on the screen. Okay, so all the graphics are done, okay? So let's go ahead and see what this, oh no, I need to put fade, I need to fade in and fade out. I forgot about that. There's a way of doing this that makes it so they both fade. Fade from black, do I do it on the bottom? Oh, you know what, I think I do it on, on the top and bottom. I think that's how that works. Look, okay, watch, I'm gonna click. I clicked right now. Look at this. Okay. We're not even done, man. And think about it, I had four different, did I have four benchmarks? I had four benchmarks. So there were four sections like this. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, actually, okay, see, look at the slider. See that slider is hauling ass? Wah, look, he's just going, and then pow. Look at that. Oh, it's awful. Wow, that's an interesting glitch. What the, I don't even know what's going on. Anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some music in here. And we got to turn the gain down. I usually turn it down to about 5%. Not 50, but 5. And audio. Um, again, the audio doesn't matter. I can't remember if, my, if, my, if I need to turn that down or not. I guess we'll find out. So I'm trying to preview it. I don't know what's happening. There we go. So elementary All right. OS is somewhat of a unique distribution in that it's based on Ubuntu 14.4, but it's not an official spin. Okay, so I think you guys get the idea. When you watch my videos and you see screen tearing, this is the kind of shit I have to deal with with Caden Live. We get this absolute mess what the, where we don't really have... A, it's, there, it's doing it again. And you get shit like this. I don't even know, what do you what do you say about this? Like, what is there to say about this? I don't know. So, that's Caden Live. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Seems like lately it's been just given me serious problems trying to render crap without having screen tearing and other really weird issues. So, all right, that's the end of my diatribe. That's the end of my rant. Uh, and that's all I have to say. So if you have any, um, you know, feedback or tips on using Caden live, I'd love to hear them. So yeah, let me know in the comments.